Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 2 Pleasant View series, here with me, Tea Addict. Welcome back guys, happy Thursday, and welcome back to Tweaky Island, where honestly, I will admit I completely forgot that we were. So, we are back today with Darren and his new wife, Christy Dreamer. They are currently on their honeymoon in Tweaky Island, as we see, and yeah, they're staying in this fairly cheap hotel. Um, it's, I think it has potentially bugged out a little. Um, when I loaded up the lot, it seemed to have kind of lost that they were staying in this suite and we just ordered room service that hasn't come and there were lots of other sims hanging around that didn't seem to have a room they're all in the sauna right now so I'm not really sure what's going on but uh, I'm sure it's fine so yeah anyway we're back and I'm excited so last time uh, we came out here on our honeymoon they have had a woohoo um, but so far they haven't really been out and about in Tweaky Island. The first day they spent mostly just hanging around the hotel here. They were, uh, yeah, they were like enjoying the sauna and the food down here, sleeping in the hammock and everything. So I think today we need to go ahead and take them out uh, to, to explore a little bit. And I'd also be interested to see what other clothing options we have for Christy and Darren to make them look like they're a little bit more at home here on Tweaky Island. So let's see. Do you have... No, of course, Darren doesn't have a pair of shorts. Well, we'll put on his stripy shirt. What about you, Christy? Do you have, like, shorts or a dress or anything you can wear that means you will look a little bit more comfortable in the heat? Let's find out. Not at all? Okay, well, she's got that one, but it's like a sweater dress, which kind of defeats the purpose. Um, yeah, no, she doesn't. Okay, so... That's cool. That's fine. That means that we might want to go out and um, find some food. And then uh, well, let's try just walking. Let's try just walking across to the boardwalk. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some food and let's see if we can buy some, some new clothes, something to make us feel really like nice and at home here on the island. And then see what else we feel like doing today. In terms of wants, Christy, by the looks, can't wait to just actually get home and start her new life and her family. She wants to have a baby and she wants to get a puppy or a kitten. She doesn't care which, but she wants it desperately. Meanwhile, Darren wants to learn a new massage, call Dirk, and then interact with Christy and, you know, romance her and all that kind of thing. So I guess, um, yeah, I guess Christy might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed by her honeymoon right now, which, you know, it's easy for that to happen. She doesn't quite know what to do or where to go. So maybe Darren will have to take charge and kind of lead the honeymoon, so to speak. Oh, lovely. I agree, Darren. This place is absolutely perfect. Look at the water and the, oh, just beautiful. Like, I really, really, really could use a vacation, but that's okay. So, <laughs> let's see. First of all, we are hungry. So, let's go ahead. Let's come up here and let's um, order some food here from the food cart I guess you could almost call it and um, we're gonna get some pineapple surprises which I think will be great Darren honey stop freaking out about the stairs you can you can make it up so we want to do that they do both want to buy a souvenir so we will buy some souvenirs and then you might have also noticed that over here we do have some clothing racks. So we will definitely go ahead and get them some Tweaky Island style uh, clothes to wear so that they can wear them and not sort of burn up in the heat all day. Darren, you can also see, kind of wants to find beach treasure, build a sandcastle, comb the beach, have a look for some fun things there. So we'll definitely have him do that. Well, maybe Christy just wants to relax and sunbathe a little bit today. Could be good fun for her. But yeah, I am really excited about being in Tweaky Island because I, I honestly have not played a lot of The Sims 2 Bon Voyage. I really haven't. Um, I haven't experienced a lot of it. I don't know a lot about it. So there may be things that I, you know, miss or that I get wrong or whatever. So you guys will have to help me out with uh, some tips about things we can get up to. We are on a very short holiday though and we are on a pretty tight budget so <laughs> we may have to uh come back with other families to do more exploring of Tweaky Island 
I was like, why isn't my game loading? It's because it's loading the uh, clothing catalog. So, okay, we could get Christy a beautiful dress. That seems to be a nice idea. Um, yeah, a lot of these clothes are for cold climates. <laughs> Not so much the Tweaky Island climate. I like this one, maybe? It's very, it's very happy, very colourful and bright. Um, unfortunately, yeah, as I was saying, we are on a pretty tight budget, which means we can't really afford to do a lot with uh, spending money, but we will, we will try to uh, have a bit of fun and experience the island as much as we can. But yeah, let's put her in this beautiful yellow sundress. I think she looks really pretty. Let's take a look at you, love. Yes, gorgeous. I like that a lot. And then Darren, I mean, he's probably fine with the shirt he's wearing, but he could definitely just use a nice pair of shorts. <laughs> okay, I've picked out Darren's shorts. Let's put him in them. It's going to look absolutely amazing. You guys are going to love it. Um, and Christy is just going down to watch the waves. That's fine, except I would like you both to come out here and shop for a souvenir in a second. But yes, yeah, so these are the shorts I bought him. Yes, big yes, I think. Um, and maybe we'll actually go back to this shirt to go with it. They don't match very well, but we're trying to we're trying to keep spending uh, a bit low if possible. So yeah, we also over here have some souvenirs that we can get. So we will go ahead and buy a couple of these. Um, I think that'll be really sweet and fun. Uh, and something to take home and like to clutter the house with and, and remember this uh, holiday buy. So we'll have Darren get the tree and Christy can come over here and get the treasure chest uh, if we can. Lovely. Not sure how much these cost. I'm hoping it's not too much because again, we're kind of poor and our hotel bill is uh, racking up. <laughs> 75 simoleons. Highway robbery. Classic. Like when you're on holidays, right? And everything is just ridiculously expensive. Yep. But okay, then let's come down to the beach. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at the fire dancer, he's so cool. So we've got some seaweed over here. I mean, look, the beach is a little bit green looking for my personal taste, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, over here we seem to have some kind of like a, a boat ramp or maybe even it's meant to be like an infinity pool or something. That's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so Darren's gonna go ahead and start digging in the sand. He is combing for seashells, which is great. Uh, so he wants to find beach treasure. Do we do that just by combing for seashells? I assume we do. Um, and then Christy is coming down to uh, goose him, which is a bit, bit cute. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give her a romantic hug and just tell her to relax, kick back. You know, she can do whatever she wants and uh, we'll just be combing the beach. So I might just have her quickly go up to the bathroom and then she can come down here and just relax. Darren is just watching the waves right now. Let's have him build a sandcastle. I just love the look of the water and, and Tweaky Island in general in The Sims 2, especially with the water mod. Oh my gosh. With the water mod, this is like mm, so good. Oh my goodness, Darren, that is a freaking masterpiece, my friend. Last time I was at the beach, I was like, I'm going to build a really cool sandcastle. And it turned out pretty good. I decorated it with a lot of shells, but it definitely didn't have anything on that. Uh, let's just comb a little bit more and see if we can find anything. Christy is uh, just relaxing, loving her life. What if I tell her to actually sunbathe? Will she strip down into her um, bathers and lie on a towel? Yes, she will. Oh my gosh. As she puts on the sunscreen first, of course, of course. Don't want to get sunburnt now, do we? You have found clamshell earrings. Use a mirror to try them on. Well, I mean, like, we, we're probably not super into uh, clamshell earrings personally, but that's cool. Uh, we might be able to give them to Christy. And, uh, yeah, apparently Darren now also wants to sunbathe on the beach, so he will also lotion up. Would be cute if they had, like, an interaction to, like, put lotion on each other or something, that'd be nice. <laughs> but I do love the details in The Sims 2. Every time I play this game, it's like, of course they put sunscreen on before they just whip out a towel and start sunbathing. Of course. But yeah, if this is not just like what I need right now in my life, I don't know what is. I'm very stressed out currently. I really am. It's been a very stressful week and 
basically it's all just to do with the fact that the wedding's coming up um, on October 10th and half of Australia is still in lockdown for COVID and my family can't come and we're just not really sure what to do and it's all a big mess. And it's also been winter, obviously. It's been very cold. I mentioned this in one of my, I think it was a Stardew Valley episode recently that I tend to, I do tend to get a bit sort of sad in winter. So, like, just relaxing on a beautiful beach in the sun. Oh, goals. But okay, let's actually get these guys up here for a minute because I want to go to another lot. I want to go and check out um, a lot that I actually built. And I built it ages ago. It was a long time ago. Oh, you want to go swimming? That's super cool. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot that I actually built a long time ago for a challenge. Um, and I did upload a speed build of it. Um, so if you do want to go back and check that out, I'll put a little like info card thingy of the speed build. But yeah, basically it's just a nice spa that I made for Tweaky Island. And I'd like to have these two go there, relax. Maybe Darren will be able to learn the massage that he wants to learn. And then, um, yeah, we, we should have a nice time. Awesome. So here we are. Um, I really like how this lot came together. I think it looks really cool. I think I did actually use a fair bit of like Vanilla Sims 2 content. Um, in this spa, like, I use this crazy wallpaper, and it's meant to be not, like, a... It's meant to be a bit of a cheaper spa, um, <laughs> as we see by the fact that there's mold, literally mold, growing in the sauna rooms. But, yeah, so, okay, let's just, first of all, have Darren come in here, use the toilet, um, and then he wants to relax in a sauna, so he can do that. Christy, why don't you want to do anything fun? She's just like, I just want to have a baby and get a puppy. Can we go home yet? <laughs> like, Christy, come on, seriously. Okay, now maybe we'll, maybe we'll get a massage first. So what do we want to get? We want to just get a massage. Okay, so let's um purchase a hot stone massage. And Christy, come up here and get a, a hot stone massage with us, okay? Whether you want to or not, this is what Darren wants to do. Come up here and relax with us. Actually enjoy yourself, okay? <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, so I tried to make this look like a fairly sort of romantic place to hang out, I guess. Like, we've got lots of little candles and we've got uh, these beautiful flower walls, lots of places to get massaged. And then of course we will also go and relax in the sauna too. But yeah, <laughs> this wallpaper though, have you guys, tell me if you guys have ever actually used this wallpaper in a build. Because, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, and we need to try to learn the greeting too. Yes. And this wallpaper for that matter, I'm pretty sure that's Vanilla Sims 2 as well. I love the detail that went into this animation as well. Like you can just see how much care and attention was put into this. Like someone had actually had a hot stone massage before and wanted to make it look really quite realistic. Like he he wiggles, you know, as, as she's massaging him. Oh man, it's just so good. Uh oh, someone had an error. Hopefully it wasn't me. Nope, we're fine, it was someone else. Awesome. So that actually went for ages and look at Darren's energy. It like really revitalized him, which is really cool. I like that detail. Um, he does need to use the bathroom and just freshen up a bit and I will just have him use the sauna because he does want to. Um, and then Christy wants to take a shower, so we'll totally let her come in here and do that because we've got some shower facilities here. Um, she is getting a little hungry, as is Darren, and Darren also wants to ask us him on a date. So I feel like after he just relaxes in the sauna a bit, we'll have them form an actual date and maybe see if we can find somewhere to go out and eat some dinner. Um, I'm not sure if there's... Yeah, look at this. He wants to dine out with the sim. Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there's actually like a... Um, a a restaurant in Tweaky Island, per se? If there's not, I'm gonna have to build one, like a beachfront restaurant where you can sit like very indoors, outdoors and enjoy the, yeah, the scenery and everything. Definitely gonna need to do that. So Christy, why don't you just come out here and just view the vases for a minute? <laughs> That'll be fun. Darren's just showering off after his sit in the sauna. I would definitely be scrubbing myself after sitting in that sauna, not gonna lie. Hello? No, don't do that. Okay, come here. Let's um give her a romantic hug and then let's uh, ask on a date. 
Oh, and we didn't actually learn the massage. That's okay. That's probably a bit expensive because that does cost 500 simoleons. Um, and we, we really probably don't have enough money for that. Oh, you want to be saved from death. Darren is feeling on top of the world right now. He's like, you know what? Nothing can get me right now. I reckon I could even defy death. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a little play. Let's do a little gossip. Let's tell a little inside joke. And then let's have Christy uh, tell a little inside joke back. Oh, this is gorgeous. We want to do a romantic kiss. We also do want to make out. And yeah, Christy wants to dine out with us. So I wonder if there is actually a restaurant. Let's see if we, whoops, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. So yeah, is there another community lot we can go to? That's a hotel. Ruins, bungalows, beach paradise, South End Beach. That's the boardwalk. Tweaky Beach Hotel and White Sands Hot Springs. Do you know I don't think there is an actual just like restaurant where we can go and eat? Oh, well, that's that's really sad. <laughs> that's really sad. Okay, well, I guess we'll just head back to our resort and we'll get some food from the um, outdoor food stand. But yeah, I'm going to have to come in a Tweaky Island and build a, a beautiful like you know, classic beach restaurant. I'll call it like the Wave or something super original like that be great hmm so it said check out time passed while you were away and the hotel added another 1192 simoleons to our bill even though our room like these are only um about 600 simoleons a night uh-oh um yeah so we currently owe 2400 simoleons which just doesn't seem right um, and it's also reset to 9am. I think there's definitely some weirdness going on um, <laughs> with this lot right now. I'm tempted to maybe get them to uh, check out and then go somewhere else. I don't know. It's a bit weird. Um, definitely a bit weird because it should be like quite late at night right now, like about 8pm. What if I at least just make it 5 p.m.? When does the actual days left in vacation thing switch over? That's what I'm wanting to know. Otherwise, if our bill turns out to be double what it should be, I might just cheat them a little bit of extra money um, so we can actually afford our, our honeymoon here. I feel like that would be fair. What are you ordering now? A pineapple surprise as well? Okay, Christy, sure. <laughs> sure thing. Sure thing, honey. Anyway, okay, well, we're done with eating, so let's go ahead and uh, come over here. Okay, so I think it's reached this point of the evening where these two are ready to really get cozy with one another. They're wanting to canoodle and flirt and head up to their hotel room and uh, have a bit of a woohoo. Um, once again, we will try a risky woohoo and we will see what happens with... Um, whether or not they have a, a an accidental pregnancy. All right, one eternity later, we've made it up to our room. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, if I do casual woohoo bed, will you guys, yes, you will in fact use this bed. Okay, well that's, that's good, that's great. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, I'm just not sure what's going on with like the other this one has a resident. I'm not sure why this one doesn't have a resident. That one does. And that one does now as well. Okay, I guess this lot is slowly figuring itself out. But we did order room service this morning as well, which never appeared on our table. Pong and I are leaving since it's so late and way past our bedtime. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if I might have some kind of like weird mon con mod conflicts or like, I just, I just don't know. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, apparently this time they're doing a try for baby as their casual woohoo. I guess that's what they wanted to do. But I do not hear a jingle. I do not hear a jingle. We may be okay. All right, then. <laughs> Let's just have uh, our Sims just get ready for the bed and then we will catch up again in the morning. Get ready for the bed. Get ready for bed and then we will catch up in the morning. 
All right, and at last we have made it till morning. That actually took a really, really long time because this lot is extremely laggy and it does not like going at triple speed. Like it was really chugging trying to go at triple speed. So um, yeah, that was fine. But it turned out that the one day left in vacation did switch over at midnight. So I guess that means it'll switch out at midnight again tonight. Um, so in terms of like booking our flight home and everything, I'm not sure when it is best to book that for but you can see here that Christy wants to go to work like she just does not seem interested in this honeymoon at all and I just don't know why she just wants to get home she wants to work and she wants to get puppies and kittens and have babies like I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. One thing I'm also interested to try again is uh, room service. So let's see if we can get some waffles delivered up to our room for Darren to have for breakfast this morning. Um, because, yeah, it did not work at all yesterday morning. And I'm interested to see what happens if we try it again. Uh, it, it might be worth our while to just check out of this hotel. Whoa, Kurt Cole is uh, having a little freak out right there. Sorry, but I can't help you today. I'm out at the pool. <laughs> right, sure. But yeah, so let's see. Are we are we getting room service? Is that a thing that is, is happening right now? You two, are you bringing us some food? Well, you, Dwayne, Gardner? Some, some food would be nice. Wait, I thought he was just going to pull food like out from under this counter and I was going to be like, okay, but that's really gross. Um, and yeah, so our bill seems to be double what it should be. I just did some quick calculations and our bill should literally be like 1,800 simoleons for the room for the three nights and then maybe like, I don't know, an extra 200 simoleons for, um, for the food, which just doesn't really seem to be happening. So, okay then. <laughs> And yeah, not a not a sign, not a hint of our uh, room service again. So there is definitely some weirdness going on with this uh, this lot and this vacation. I'm not sure what's causing it. It could be caused by the fact that we saved and left, um, and I probably did a couple of like hood checker runs. Um, it could be a mod conflict. If any of you guys have any experience with, um, I guess yeah, like issues with the hotels in Bon Voyage, let me know. This is the first time I've ever experienced this happening, so I'm a little confused, but I don't know. Okay, so let's have Darren come over and get himself some breakfast. You can see how just head over heels he is for his wife, Christy, right now. Um, he just wants to kiss her, hug her, flirt with her all day long um, and, and do nothing else, which is really, really sweet. And I really like that. Um, so another interesting thing about Darren that is worth noting at this point in time is that uh, his beloved Cassandra has had a divorce and has separated from her husband Don and moved out on her own. He probably has no idea because they haven't really been so great at communicating a lot recently. Um, he hasn't probably seen her since this went down. He's probably been away for his honeymoon the whole time. He is still in love with Cassandra. Let's not forget that. Yes, there is only one day left in my vacation. I know. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that is that is something that, you know, like Darren might have to face when he gets home. Like right now he is just all about his new wife, Christy. Um, but he does still have those lingering feelings for Cassandra. And it, I'm not sure what's going to happen when Cassandra maybe comes to him and, and tells him what's what's happened between her and Don. Okay, so I feel like we will um, check out of this hotel because I think the whole hotel is just completely glitched at this point in time. So let's go ahead and do that. The workers also don't seem to be cleaning anything or repairing anything. They're just kind of like hanging around weirdly. So I am going to check out of our hotel. Um, I'm not sure how we go about getting home. I act it's been so long since I did a vacation. I honestly don't remember. Uh, but I'm also, I am going to refund them uh, a thousand smolians because uh, the hotel's overcharged us. And it's because it's glitched out and I don't know why. Um... But yeah, I am actually just going to kiching them back a thousand simoleons because I think that's more than reasonable and fair. Okay, so 
I've just decided to have Darren just check back into this hotel for five ninety six simoleons a night, not like double that. I don't know why it was charging us double that. Um, so now we can actually go out and enjoy Tweaky Island for our last day here. The only problem is that neither of them really want to go out today. <laughs> uh, but we're going to force them because I want to go explore. I want to go and, and have a look at more of these lots. So we've got, what is Fruitville Village? Pick up some groceries, stop by, enjoy the best fruit salad available on the island, a specialty dish. It's made with native recipe handed down from generation to generation. It will juice you up. Okay, we've got the majestic ruins of Jumbok. Uh, seawater Beach Paradise. I mean, that sounds really nice. Let's go there. Let's go to Seawater Beach Paradise. I feel like that'll be a good place to go for our final day here on Tweaky Island. And then if you guys want to, you can just kiss and just lie on the beach all day. I don't mind, but just... You know, you want to do something fun. Something. This remind this actually reminds me a lot of my first, um, my honeymoon from my first wedding in Bali. Um, and honestly, I, because I have anxiety, lying all day in the hotel reading books seemed like a really good honeymoon to me. <laughs> I swear, I'm an exciting person. We did get out. We did, we did like tours and we went to a zoo and a, and a, what are they called? a safari and I went snorkeling one day. I got real seasick on a boat. Good times. But yeah, no, mostly we spent that honeymoon reading books in bed. So I guess I should be a little more understanding of Christy and her not really wanting to go out and do things because uh, I can be like that sometimes. All right, here we are. This looks like a nice place to spend a day. So we can come over here. We can watch the fire dancer. We can sunbathe and build another sandcastle. Do all these things that Darren wants to do. Maybe today we can also go for a swim in the ocean too. Oh, and look, Christy actually wants to build a sandcastle. I'm so proud of you. Look at you actually wanting to do a thing. Oh, Christy, knew you'd come around eventually. <laughs> yeah, now let's go ahead and, um, and build some sandcastles. Get them started with fulfilling a couple of wants today. Can they build a sandcastle together, actually? Like, Darren, can you come over here and join? Or is that not really a thing? Ah, uh, that doesn't look like it's really a thing. Okay, that's fine. No, don't watch the clouds. You'll probably get struck by a freaking falling meteorite or satellite or something. Just build yourself a sandcastle, all right? And then you want to do some beach combing as well, so you can do that. Let's see, do they have more than one design for the sandcastles in The Sims 2? Or is it just the same amazing sandcastle every time? Okay, well, it doesn't seem to be the amazing sandcastle every time. I guess it maybe it's like, um... The Sims' artistic skill? That would make sense. I mean, like, Darren is very high on his creativity skill, whereas Christy is a one, a solid one. So I guess that is, like, the number one creativity sandcastle, uh, whereas this one is full creativity. Oh, yeah, no, no, that makes sense. This looks more like a me sandcastle, so, you know, I relate. Oh, yes, and we want to go swimming. Okay, well, why don't you go ahead and get in the beach? Uh, Christy doesn't want to go swimming. She's just going to sit up here and watch, apparently, which is fine. I guess she can do that. You know, we don't judge. Oh my gosh, look at the animation. Ah, Sims 2, I love you. This game, it just, oh, it just amazes me. But yeah, so I know you can, like, meet a pirate over there. That is one thing I do know about Tweaky Island. But what else can you do? What are the other mysteries? Okay, why don't we go ahead and do some sunbathing there, darling. You've had such a nice time swimming around in the ocean. Um, Christy's building another sandcastle, that's nice. Why don't you also come over here and uh, watch the, watch the fire dance. I like how she's standing here behind the fire dancer watching it instead of standing, like sitting in front like everybody else is. What if I have you, come around to the front. Oh, okay, now he's taking a break. All right. Why don't we talk to uh, Carla? She looks like someone who might be able to teach us this super cool, like, hang loose thing. So I wouldn't mind learning to do that if, if she would like to teach me. I think that could be fun. Darren, meanwhile, is just dozing off here on the beach, <laughs> having a great time. 
Oh, we are getting a little bit hungry though. Maybe we should see what we can do for food on this lot. I'm hoping... Oh, okay. Well, there is the barbecue and someone is about to cook us some food. Wonderful. Yes, I would love for you to be able to dine out with a sim. However, there aren't any restaurants in Tweaky Island at this point in time, which is something I'm definitely going to fix. But yeah, a bit, bit of an unfortunate thing there, my darling. Um, and then you want to slow dance with a sim? I mean, that could be a nice thing to do. We could let them slow dance on the beach, you know, while the sun sets. Uh, and then send them home relaxed, refreshed, and in Christie's part, ready to have babies without a moment further ado. <laughs> I love this bloke just walking around just doing this to everybody. Zeeshin. He seems like a pretty cool dude. Dad's like, oh, you look like you're about the same age as my son, Dirk. He's just graduated college. He's going to be a doctor. And, um... I don't know why I gave Darren that voice just then. That is so not Darren Dreamer's voice. But anyway, Zisha's just like, oh, cool, man. Yeah, I never went to college. Wanted to be a musician, but uh, didn't really work out. Came on holiday to find myself and found myself stuck here. Darren's like, oh, cool. What are your, what were your influences? I, I used to like a bit of music <laughs> when I was young and I would play video games all night. I'd always have some music playing too. Yeah, that's cool, man. Christy doesn't like video games. Oh, no. She's just talking about the great date that they had last night, and we're being joined by Michelle Johnson, which is great. Sure. Sure thing, little girl. You can come and sit down with us. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so the end of our vacation is rapidly approaching, sadly. We are, uh, yes, definitely on our way to back home soon, which I'm sure will make Christy very happy. But I think we have had an interesting honeymoon. I feel like I've gotten to know Christy a little better. Like, maybe... Maybe she also might have a little bit of anxiety going on. You know, maybe she is. Let's just take another look at her personality. She's very playful and nice, but she is shy, quite shy, lazy and sloppy. Maybe she just doesn't really like to go out and do a lot. I don't know. Maybe she just felt kind of out of her depth out here on the island. But yeah, definitely feel like we should do a little bit of a slow dance just uh, to see our vacation out. I mean, what a beautiful scene, right? <laughs> but yeah, Darren, I feel like, is he's ready to start a, a life with Christy as well. But I don't know how Darren feels about having more children, potentially. Um, he doesn't seem too interested in having another baby yet at this point in his life. Maybe he feels like he's too old for that kind of stress or... I'm not sure, but we'll have to definitely see how their relationship progresses once we get back home. Speaking of which, we should probably get going. And, um, so we will have these guys walk back home, check out of their hotel and catch a flight back to Pleasant View. So forgive the fact that we're just looking at a tree in the dreamer's backyard here We have now have the opportunity to pick some vacation rewards for our sims Christy and Darren They have three better foot points each apparently um, And we can go ahead and select which ones we want So if you're unaware in the sims 2 bon voyage when you have a nice holiday You get some reward traits for temporarily when you get back uh, if you've had a nice time. So we have Carefree. With this reward, your sim will enjoy the benefit of an additional want slot. With this reward, you will be carefree in no time. I think we're definitely going to give that one to Christy because she only has the four. Now I'd really like her to have more than that. <laughs> we also have Refreshed. Everything is always easier when you get back from a great vacation. With this reward, your sim will have a bonus gain in skill building and badge building activities and they will be able to complete homework faster. We also have productive. With this reward, your sim will want to spend less time slacking off after having such a good vacation. Their comfort, social and fun needs will take much longer to decay. We have je ne sais quoi. 
Give your sim that something extra special that other sims will notice. Romantic pursuits should be easier with this, with this benefit. Then we have industrious. With this benefit, your sim will be a star at the workplace. High job performance and therefore promotions will be much easier to achieve. I feel like we're going to give Christy that one because she's been anxious to get back to work. Then we also have forgiving. With this benefit, your sim will be much harder to annoy. Any sims that you are furious with will be forgiven and negative relationships will take longer to build. Okay, so I don't think she needs that one. I think we'll also give her productive. I think we'll give her carefree, industrious and productive. Darren, I think we're going to give carefree, refreshed, and forgiving. There we go. But yeah, so now you'll see that Darren, because he is fully upgraded as a uni student, actually uh, has seven want slots, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, if you weren't aware, this is what you can do with um, vacation reward traits. All right, so I've gone ahead and I have updated it to be about 10 p.m. on Thursday night. As far as best as I can work out, that's about where they should be timeline-wise. I also realized that they were technically only on Tweaky Island for two nights in the hotel, which means we actually were still overcharged. We, um, yeah, we got charged for like four nights essentially so i do need to refund them another 600 simoleons i'm just working out how i'm going to do that what i think i'll do is i'll ka -ching them and then i will have them buy something worth 400 simoleons let's just get rid of that here for a second like a painting that's a very expensive painting 400 simoleons yes so we're just gonna buy this wall menu just just temporarily just for a second there we go and then i'm gonna force error and delete there we go okay so this is what i think they should have paid for their honeymoon again this is just as best as i can work out <laughs> but so that means that we still actually do have another day uh to play with this family because of the way my rounds work yes it makes sense in my head don't question it all right, lovely. So it is the next morning and we are going to go ahead and just uh, caress our beautiful wife, tell her good morning, welcome home. Uh, let's, I guess it's time for life to get back to normal, but we had a wonderful time on our honeymoon and all of that kind of thing. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get started with our Friday. Now, I have been just taking a little bit of a look at Christy um, again. So she is a nature sim, which is good to know. And her lifetime wish is actually to become Captain Hero Level 10 in the police force. So I find that quite interesting. You can see um, she is quite interested in money, sports and work. And her secondary aspiration we did already give her is actually fortune. So I really don't think that Christy would want to continue working as a drive through clerk level 2 in that um, culinary career I think that she would want to try to find a way into the police force so I think we're gonna have her try to get a job uh, in the force we might have to see um, if there's anything available online today and if not we might have to see about maybe trying to get to know John Burb a little uh, to see if he can give us an in into the force um, Christy is not a university educated sim she is very, a very young sim, but the police force, I feel like, is one of the careers that you can potentially, you know, get into and get pretty high up in without having been a university educated sim. So let's go ahead and see if there are any openings in the force um, in Pleasant View right now. And um, yes, yeah, see if we can get her, get her that job uh, to get her on her way to her lifetime wish. Now, we did also get a pop-up before saying that food stock was running low, which means we will have to duck down to the grocery store today. I love when I have to go to the grocery store, so we'll definitely have Darren and Christy maybe do that together. Or maybe just Darren, depending on how Christy goes with finding this job. Because she does really want to go to work today, so we might have her... If she can get a job in... Um, Police force, she might go in for like an interview or something today or like a orientation. Firefighting, not quite. No, so no jobs open in the police force today. That is okay. We will have to go ahead and uh, get her into that at a later date. Oh, right. And of course, we have this car. 
<laughs> this happened such a long time ago. I forgot. I completely forgot about this. But essentially, there was a um, a car that Darren and Dirk did up together, and then Darren kind of lost it. Um, oh no! Don't greet the skunk. You get sprayed. Oh no! That's a terrible idea, Christy. No. <laughs> Oh, Christy! No, that's gross. Oh no, how disgusting! <laughs> Freaking love The Sims too. Anyway, what I, what, what, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, we had a car that they did up together, and then one day it just kind of disappeared. Um, out of the, yeah, off the face of the planet. So we kind of made up a little bit of a story that Darren had maybe had a car accident in his son's car, uh, because it happened. I think after Dirk had gone off to college. So we promised him that we were going to fix up and put together another car to replace the one that we lost. So we have been working on that slowly but surely. Uh, you can see Darren here is working on it now. It, the body is completely done. Uh, we just need to do a little bit more with the engine. The only problem is his mechanical skill isn't too great. So another thing we could do, we've been wanting to call Dirk for a chat for a long while. We could actually see about inviting him over and having him help us out with the car, just depending on what Dirk is doing today. Um, so maybe we'll give him a call and see if he's free. And if he is, we'll invite him over to help us finish off this car. Um, because, you know, he misses Dirk. He wants to see Dirk and talk to Dirk. Uh, it's been a while. So I feel like that would make sense. Nice, he gained a mechanical skill point though, which is awesome. All oh, right, and they're still wearing their like super tweaky island clothes. That's okay, I think they can continue wearing their vacation clothes a little bit longer, uh, especially because, oh, he is home, oh nice. Um, it is coming into summer. So yeah, Dirk is home and we now want to tell him an inside joke and play with him. So why don't we go ahead and just, we'll have to hang up and call him back. But let's invite him over here. Let's get him over here to hang out with us and spend some time with us. Oh, household. Yeah, Lilith, come too. Come too. Oh, and Helen Oldie. Right. Right. I moved him in there. Um, that's okay. We'll, well, Helen would technically be at school right now. So we won't include her in our invitation. I'm just like waiting for them to arrive and Malcolm Landgrab is jogging past. <laughs> hey Malcolm, what's up man? He is an avid jogger, let's not forget Malcolm Landgrab, he goes for a jog every morning quite faithfully uh, to make sure he stays well in shape. But let's go ahead and greet Dirk, let's have uh, Christy come out maybe and greet Lilith and uh, let's, let's have a chat with them. Hey son, good to see you, you're looking well. Uh, let's do the inside joke. Let's admire him. Awesome. And maybe just do a little tickle. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay, we want to appreciate him again. We can do that and we want to tell him another joke. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll get um, get working on the car over here. And what I will do is just uh, temporarily, uh, where am I, control Dirk as well, so that we can have him work on the, oh, can they work on the engine at the same time? Potentially they can't actually. No, right. So in the past, they've always worked on the car together because um, one of them's worked on the body while the other one's worked on the engine. I didn't think of that. Um, and his mechanical skill isn't actually all that great uh, compared to Darren, so I guess we'll just leave Darren out here working on the car. Um, and Christy and Lilith are up here dancing together. Okay, well that's kind of cute. Uh, let's maybe have a chat with her, see how we get along. I wish there was a way for me to see like a progress bar on this baby. See how far off we are from actually having the car completed. Oh no, and Christy and Lilith are not getting along. Okay, Darren, you might have to come up here and umpire. <laughs> Maybe we'll have uh, you try to admire. Why don't you go ahead and admire Lilith and uh, talk with her? Oh, good. And Dirk actually accepted the admire from Christy. So that's great. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to say dance together. Well, they are dancing together. <laughs> Let's just have them chat. That's what I meant to have them do. 
But yeah, no, um, Darren has been wanting to be friends with Lilith for a very long time. So I do feel like that's something he would definitely want to work on now that he's back from his honeymoon. Um, and everything's kind of getting settled. I think out of the corner of his eye, he would be sort of like watching or like keeping a half an ear on the conversation happening back here to see how Dirk and Christy are getting along. It does seem like they're getting along a fair bit better, which is great. Okay, well, everyone is getting along really well. I'm just going to have uh, Christy come downstairs and serve up some lunch for everybody. Oh, no, you didn't want to gossip, Lilith? Oh, dang. Oh, I'm... Darren, why would you push her? You jerk. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Yeah, no, Lilith was not into the gossip. Let's tell her about our travels instead. Oh, no, we're officially out of food. Oh, shoot, we can't provide lunch for everybody. Oh, drat. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead maybe and order a pizza then? Call delivery. No, 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 no woohooing right now. No woohooing right now. You guys have company. We still do have to go to the grocery store today. Yeah, okay, well, we have a pizza on the way, so we will at least be getting a late lunch. Unfortunately, Christy is going to have to go to work soon. Um, so we'll, we'll have a late, like, afternoon pizza. Christy will have to go to work, and we'll probably say goodbye to Dirk and Lilith. But I do just really want these guys to chat a little bit more, <laughs> hopefully make friends, and um, we'll have him admire her again, maybe tell her a bit of a joke again. Oh, so you were able to grab chips. Great. That's great, Christy. We just spent 40 bucks on a pizza because I thought the... Oh, look, here's Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Um, yeah, I thought the fridge was empty and turns out there's enough in there for crisps. Of course. Uh, Christy, where exactly are you going with that pizza? Oh, of course, because that's the most sensible place to put the pizza. Oh, good, and Lilith actually accepted that gossip. Apparently we're gossiping about Brandy, which is a little rude. I think Brandy's been through enough without the town gossiping about her. Thank you very much. But the pizza is here, which is nice, so we can go ahead and eat. Hopefully Dirk and Lilith come and grab some as well. Christy is going to be heading off for work. She is still in that drive through clerk position until there is an opening for her in the police force. But I'm sure we will find one eventually. But yeah, so I feel like Darren might be just be telling Dirk all about their wonderful um, honeymoon and saying he's so, you know, the stars were so beautiful and Dirk's asking him what the food was like and if he, you know, enjoyed it. And he's like, yeah, it's pretty much fine. <laughs> um, what a good week it's been. Hope I can keep it up. That's awesome. But yeah, we might go ahead and um, ask Dirk to leave. Okay, well, we could have just said goodbye nicely. We didn't have to, like, force him out. And then let's go ahead and say goodbye nicely to Lilith. Or not. Uh, okay, maybe let's just try to give her a friendly hug. And then say goodbye. Lilith, honey. Oh, no, she didn't want a hug. Oh, good. Okay, well, bye. It was nice of you to come. We did, we were friends there for a brief period of time. Okay, so, Darren, my darling, you need to go to the store and get us some groceries for our empty, empty fridge. I was really hoping the car would be done by the end of today, but it looks like things, other things have just gotten in the way. Oh, and now our toilet's clogged. This house is dire need of not only some uh, cleaning, but some like renovating and fixing up of things and just all sorts. Well, oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, Christy, it's late and Christy is working the drive-through all by her lonesome. Lots of responsibility for little pay. <laughs> Suddenly, the otherwise quiet night is ruined when local rich kid Dudley Landgrab and some of his hoodlum friends pull up. Chrissy recognises them by the in indecent language coming through the tinny speaker. From what she's heard from other employees, Christy is pretty sure they're just going to drive off without paying. Should she fill the order or should she treat them to a bit of their own medicine? Christy is a shy sim. She is very playful, though. Let's see if we can teach him a lesson. Tired of taking flack from ungrateful customers, Christy decides to take matters into her own hands. With a mischievous grin, she discreetly fills several fast food bags with empty cartons. For, <laughs> for the top of the bags, Christy grabs some of the oldest food they've got left in the kitchen. As expected, Dudley's crew snatches the bags and speed off without paying or checking their orders. Oddly enough, they stop showing up to the delight of the entire staff. Christy's creative problem-solving tactics earn her one creativity point. That's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Great solution for the problem. 
uh, and definitely an accurate representation of working in uh, fast food. All right, awesome. So Darren has caught a late taxi down to the grocery store. We're just gonna go ahead and buy ourselves a little bit of food for the week. I definitely don't feel like Darren and Christy's money woes are anywhere near over yet. So we do have to be a little bit careful with how much we buy. Like maybe just half a fridge for now is good, I think. Uh, Christy is gonna be earning a little bit from her job, but Darren really does need to get stuck back into some painting quick smart um, so that we can continue to pay our bills. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's just see who else happens to be here today. Oh, I'm, losing, I'm missing a floor texture. Oh, bummer. I will have to come back in and fix that. I was kind of hoping just for a little bit of drama that um, Cassandra Lothario was going to turn up because <laughs> I thought that would be cool. <laughs> but it doesn't look like she is here. And that is okay. But yeah, uh, Cassandra has actually taken an apartment just down the street in the uh, Pleasant View condos, uh, which I built a long, long, long time ago. So I'm looking forward to actually playing her and showing off that apartment lot. Yeah, she and uh, their, she and her son Diego and their cat Moonshine, I think her name is. I can't actually remember. Have uh, yeah, all moved into an apartment just down down the road. Oh my gosh, my camera. And we have a Christine returned home from work. Oh my gosh. And she got a promotion. Has she also? Okay, great. She's literally brought herself home from work. Not weird at all, game. Not weird at all. But we've actually managed to arrive home at the exact same time that Darren has. So that's quite cute. But yeah, Christy has been promoted to fast food shift manager. So what happens when you do good at your job, babe. Joy of joys. Instead of fixing food, you now have to fix problems. Tangled tape, tangled register tape, clogged soda drink dispensers, and squabbling underpaid employees. Oh my gosh, this hits so close to home. Uh, be creative about your problem solving or you'll be stuck picking taco toppings out of your hair for a long, long time. <laughs> okay, well, that is really helpful though because of the, of course, the money bonus that we just brought home with that. Uh, very, very... Very happy about that. I was like, what is all this pop up on my screen? It's their um reward traits. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, so we've managed to manage to get promoted, which is great because that helps out to pay for the groceries that we just bought. Uh, let's go ahead and have them just eat and catch up and uh, yeah, talk about their days. We do have a little bit of leftovers in our fridge, thankfully, so we don't have to cook. That's what I always like. Oh my gosh, does anyone out there relate to this? So, <laughs> my fiancé, I love him very, very dearly, but he will eat the whole meal that we cook, like every time. And it drives me nuts, because when I cook, which is not very, not very frequently, I really like to have leftovers for lunch the next day, and he keeps eating it all up at dinner time. How do you stop that from happening? <laughs> Someone let me know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, yes, no, oh, I was going to say they could have a nice uh, nice meal together, but they do have a couple of wants for each other right now. They want to talk and flirt and do back rubs and, and dance and all of that kind of uh, gorgeousness. So we might just have them do some of those things before they go to bed, and we'll see if we can maybe even work them up into wanting to woohoo or, or not. Okay, let's, let's maybe do a little gossip. No, no, no. Christy, I said work up to a woohoo. Not just go ahead and sit down and start just diving straight in. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Darren, I know, honey. Please, please, Darren, please. Please. Okay, we're there. Oh God, she wants to be friends with herself. <laughs> She also wants to gain a skill point, which is nice. And now we want to play with Darren. Uh, but it does look like her wants to, you know, be romantic have kind of dwindled. Maybe she's just feeling too tired for Wahoo tonight now. She's uh, she's exhausted. 
She's just wanting to go to sleep. All right then. Well, I guess that is where we're going to leave this episode with the dreamers. Um, it's been a fun one, I think. Well, I've had fun. I've, I've got a lot of ideas for these two now. I've got some storylines cooking up in my head here. So definitely we're going to be looking at some interesting stuff in the coming rounds. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely leave your thoughts and comments below for how you see their relationship progressing. Uh, what do you make of Christie's, yeah, unwillingness to sort of go out and do anything while they're on honeymoon? Let me know what you think. Definitely if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button really helps me out and encourages me you can also subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload uh thank you so much to my patreon supporters their names are on screen now i love you guys very much and i appreciate you very much take care everyone thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now